connected. Hey guys, welcome back to Woodsman Adventures. Today I'm going to be doing an install of a extender line. My wife is wanting something every time we go camping uh, for a long period of time. She wants a place to hang the towels if you, for swimming or whatever, you know, or a uh, bathing suit or whatever, and you want to hang it on something to, to dry. Well, in the parks, running a, a line for a clothesline is just messy. It looks bad around the camp, and it's you've always got a string in the way to hang yourself on if you ain't watching what you're doing. And uh, this thing here will mount on the back of the bumper, be nice and tucked away, a good clean finish. It's made by uh, Stromberg and Carlson products, which is the same people that I got my uh, electric lift for on the front of this camper that I made the video on. And uh, they make a lot of uh, camper products. Uh, you check them out, all kinds of good stuff. But um, this one here is the bumper mount. They, it also this part here will actually mount on the ladder rack if you got, a, I mean, a ladder. Or, um, but this one here, uh, I have the bumper mount option uh, to mount it on the square tube bumper. This also will bolt to a two by six frame or the four inch bumpers. And uh, you can get a receiver a hitch type mount to put this on if you have that type uh, receiver hitch on the back ears. But uh, Stromberg and Carlson make super quality products. Uh, this thing would be real handy at the campground. It comes in two boxes. You'll get this and then you get the type of mount that you're going to be doing. So if, if you're just getting a ladder mount, this clips right on the ladder. But for me, I had to get the part to mount it to the bumper. So we'll be assemble that, stick it on the bumper, put this on there and show you how it works. All right, as you can see, this is everything that comes with it. This here aluminum mount comes with this. Um, you, you can also mount this with it already equipped with the parts mounted on a ladder rack on a ladder sorry and then this bracket here is made we'll bolt it to here and uh, sorry it goes right here we'll mount this on here and then this is the stuff to bolt it to the bumper so uh, we also got plastic caps to go in each end and uh, then this part here is the part we'll, we'll clip it on there once we get it in once we get this installed and show you how it works. Let me get some tools. Looks like we're going to need a 916th wrench maybe, a half inch or a half inch wrench, and a socket. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and bolt this bracket on here. Put our bolts like this. Same with the other side. Half inch wrench, half inch socket. Now we'll take this stuff here, put these end caps in here. Take a rubber mallet, probably be easier than using your hand to put them in. Okay, got both them in. Now we'll take it over here and mount it on the bumper. taking this you can mount it depending on where you have room uh, to fold to fold these in you can mount it uh, either side right here I think on mine I'll probably be putting it about right here 
I think that'll be good. And then on my bracket, I want to match the holes up the same way. It's been made for different options, so it depends on the type that you have. you want to mount it. We'll get one bolt started here. Turn our bolt in that way, then we'll put our lock. Now we can actually put the nut to the inside, it may look cleaner. But I don't think that's gonna be bad at all. Put our bottom bolt in. You just won't want a gap. You want these bolts, I believe to be as close to your bumper as possible. That way you don't have a big gap and it'll tighten up a lot more solid. Like so. Okay, now before you tighten it, as long as your camper is level and mine is level, the bumper is level, it's level both ways. So you want to take this thing just to make it look good and go ahead and put it where it's level before you tighten it up. That may move, we may have to snug it up a little bit and then uh, level it again. We'll snug up the top and bottom not super tight but get it snug so it'll hold there then we'll make sure that we are level okay right there we're level and we can go ahead and tighten it down I could have went ahead and made it where this bracket is lower on the bottom but I actually don't want anything hanging any lower than I have to to snag on anything if you drag your bumper so I just opted to put this up higher. Okay, now we're solid. Now we can put the other part on. We also have two hole plugs here to put in these holes. And it's a really good idea to plug them holes. Uh, you might even put a little silicone on them before you stick them in. Because you don't want this thing getting water in it when it's plugged on the bottom. Because it, it would freeze, it could freeze and bust this too. So you definitely don't want to get any water inside this tube. And even a little hole in the bottom of that wouldn't hurt uh, to drain. But it may, it may not seal enough that it won't drain. But uh, you don't want to freeze and bust it. So let's go ahead and put that on now. All right. Now we'll take this on our bracket right here. Slip it right on here. Just like so. And we want it with these, there's notches on this right here that we want on the downside. That way it sets into these notches so you can separate the bars, the hangers. It's got a couple Velcro straps here to hold them all nice and tight so they're not banging around. And it doesn't go back and hit your RV or your camper. So you can bring these out wherever you'd like. Set one over here. Space them apart however far you need. And depending on how many you use, you may only want to use a couple. Hopefully the wind is not bothering this video too bad. The wind is terrible today. It's the only time I had the video. Wind and ladybugs are flying around everywhere. Uh, so we just space these apart so-so. And uh, set them down in the notch. So see, they hold right tight. My wife is going to love this for hanging her clothes out at the campground. This is the greatest thing. Uh, and it actually will hold a lot. If you consider how many feet you have, all these added together, it's like a big long clothesline. So you can put uh, several towels and uh, bathing suits, your socks, whatever, hang them out on this. Um, and it looks neat, it fits good. One thing you want to do is this thing here, you want to remove this before you travel. Uh, don't carry it with this part on here. You can leave your mount on leave it on all the time but then remove this before you travel it's not meant to be on there when you travel 
Oh, you don't want it something happening, tearing it up, and you know, no sense in banging it around all the time, and stow it in a good place to make it last uh, during the winter when you're not using it anyway. So let me get a towel and hang on here. Okay. So here we can hang a towel on here. Try it out. My wife hasn't seen this yet, so she don't know I got it. It's going to be a nice surprise for her. Check that out. That's going to work good for drying towels. And uh, here we got one. Look at this. We got his and hers of these with the deer on it. Of course, this is mine. As you can tell, it's the buck. Hand towels to go in the bathroom. So this thing is super awesome. I'm really, really proud we got this. She's going to love it when she sees it. I'm going to... When she gets home, I'm just going to surprise her and let her come out here and see it, but uh, I think she's really going to like it. Uh, Strongberg and Carlson products, they make all kinds of different things for your RVs, so check them out. I'll put a link below uh, to their website. You can check them out. Uh, Top-notch stuff. They may, they actually make a lot of stuff like the, the handrail going in this camper. Come on, in factory, but they made that. Uh, like I said, I got the electric jack on there. So remember, they do make this thing also for... Uh, the ladders, if you want a ladder rack, ladder mount it, or if you want to receiver mount it, they make different kinds of mounts for this thing. And uh, that's what makes it so versatile. And uh, you ain't going to beat this for camping. This ought to be a must for everybody that goes camping just to have, to hang your swim stuff on. So when you're done, or when you're not using it, just have to camp. Keep it all folded up like that, run your Velcro strips around, keeps it nice and neat and out of the way, like so. And uh, when you're done with it, you get, get ready to leave to go uh, home from camping or uh, just slide this thing off. Take this part and put it in your stow compartment on your camper um, and you're good to go. Next, You leave this part on so next time when you're ready to go stick it on when you get to camp and you're good to go. Thanks for watching Woodman Adventures. I have lots more videos for the travel trailer, the Africa Twin, the Jeep Wrangler. Lots more stuff coming up. Lots more installs. I've gotten behind so far. Uh, you'll see the next videos that come up, but uh, several videos to go. So uh, thanks to uh, Strongberg and Carlson for the great product. And uh, click the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're a uh, travel trailer. We're actually going to be travel trailer living for a while as we decide what we're going to do with our house, tear it down, build a new house, what we're going to do. So we're going to be travel trailer living in this wolf pup. We absolutely enjoy it. We really love it. And uh, we'll see what the future has to hold. So thank you all for watching Woodman Adventures and I'll catch you all in the next one. Right on.